Can we take a jump cut and do my brekkie real quick? Come on close. Now I am a flat face. <laughs> Hello and welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, I am going to be donating a lot of books to free little libraries all around Woodland Park, Colorado. Woodland Park is right outside of Colorado Springs and it is currently where we are parked in the RV. If you want to see how the rest of my day goes, make sure to go in the description box where I will link my second channel, which is my travel channel. I will be posting a travel vlog all about what we do today, but in this video, we're going to be donating a lot of books to Free Little Libraries and hopefully snagging a few new ones. Now, these are books that I have read that are not in my favorites and are just taking up space in the RV, that is what we are going to do in today's video. Now, you're probably looking at the table saying, Taylor, what is this strange thing? I did a puzzle last night. I got so bored, but it's so cute, and I wanted to show you guys before I tear it apart. Maybe I'll tear it apart right now. Is that satisfying? Do you like that? Are you interested in that? Should I not? Too late, I'm gonna do it. I'm pretty excited. I'm really curious to see what Woodland Park has to offer in terms of their little libraries. They actually have quite a few of them when I looked on the app. If you aren't familiar with the app, I will link that in the description box. That shows you all of the locations for every free little library in whatever area you're in. So I'm gonna be using that today to track down some little libraries. I'm just gonna try to pick it up. That held together so well. Peace. That almost caught my hair on fire. There's a candle right here. Taylor, don't be stupid. Oh my god. That was almost dangerous. Puzzle is a wet. Look at all these books. I'm gonna explain to you why I'm donating each book. This one has a grape scene in it, and I didn't, I read like a chapter and was bored, so no. Better than the movies, I really enjoyed this book, but again, it's not like an all-time favorite, and I think somebody else could really enjoy this book. Girl A. 
I'm never I'm not gonna pick this back up no uh, if you want to understand this make sure to watch what I read in September because that is in there Finley Donovan is killing it not a favorite gotta go this is my least favorite book of all freaking time but maybe somebody else will enjoy it I don't know and then we have got one coffee with again I explain how I felt about this book in my what I read in September video but not a favorite then I have these three Agatha Christie books that just weren't my favorite and I'm keeping 13 for luck so I'm gonna get rid of these ones um, and hopefully somebody else can really fall in love with Agatha Christie and those are all of the books that I will be donating today so let's see what I can find So this one seems to have children's books, so I'm gonna do a young adult book, and we'll do one coffee with for you know the pedants. Let's go see what they've got. What is this? It looks real messed up. Beach house. Doesn't really seem like the murder she wrote. Wow, my mom would want me to get that. Right in the middle, because I think there's some water leakage going on in here, so I don't want them to get damaged. First one complete, no books now. Okay, so this person seems to really enjoy books, so I think I'm gonna give them an Agatha Christie. I'll give them the two that I liked, okay? And then let's go Finley Donovan. Let's do these three books. Oh boy. Mark Twain, Huckleberry Finn. You want Huckleberry Finn? No books here. All right, now we are here at this cute little red one. And I think I'm gonna donate Girl A and One Night in the Island because these both give off that like cabin feel. And right now we're in some log cabin area. So these are what we're gonna donate. Anybody saw my last free little library video with the wasp? I think I'm gonna get this one because you know, like spooky season. Oh, that's freaking sick. This was a win. Oh. Are any friends? I'm donating the last two books we have, which is Big Four and this book that I read like a chapter of and uh, yeah, no. <gasps> but ch shut up. Shut what? your mouth. The Handmaid's Tale? I'm gonna leave that because I've already read it. That looks cool. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? Yeah, yeah, sisterhood. Why does that sound familiar? Hello? Get your kicks on Route 66, Trevor. What in the? It's a geocache. Please do not take this book home. Please leave it for another geocache lovers to discover. Dang. Maybe it's 66. I want to open it so bad. Listen, I want it. HP Lovecraft. Why does that sound so, well, y'all need to re fix that foundation. Why does that sound so like familiar? Lovecraft, Lovecraft. If you know what that, if, if you know, please comment down below because I don't. American Gods. Okay, this I've seen a few people read. I'm not interested, but. This is a good one. I'm upset I couldn't figure out the geocache. What was it? It was one, two, three. <laughs> Man, this is cool. I don't think I'm gonna take anything because this is like, people have been at <laughs> what, what was that? <laughs> Nothing happened. You leave a ducky. I'm not leaving one of my ducks, are you insane? I opened it, 
So if you're wondering what this geocache is for this little purple free library, it's one, two, three. This book right here, I've seen so many people read and it's like, they just have so many beautiful things to say about it. So this is crazy. We found the thing that she dropped. Okay, this is what it was. But do you see how I could have assumed that was gone forever? Y'all should probably change this password. <laughs> Make it a little bit harder. I just did it on a whim, I was like, whatever. Okay, party people, let's do an overview of the books that we got from the Free Little Libraries. I got City of Dark Magic. The cover looks cool. I'm pretty sure that's like Bach or Beethoven. Interesting. Don't know, but I will definitely let you know. It's spooky season, so I'm going to be reading this one this month, or attempting to. Then we've got Silent Night and Holy Night, and this spine. I just want to give a shout out to whoever did this. Like, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to do that. That's the trees. This is beautiful. I have no idea what this is about, but there are, I guess, two novellas in one. Um, if you have read this or know this author, please let me know if that was a good idea to get this. I don't even know what genre this is, so we shall see. Then we've got Pachinko, I think is how you say it, by Min Jin Lee. And this, I'm so excited. This is like the win for me. I'm so excited about this book. So all in all, a great day for Free Little Libraries. I recommend that you go check it out. Go see what is in your local Free Little Libraries. Everybody give a round of applause for Trevor filming this video. Um, and drop a like if you think he did great and you would like him to do this more often. Thank you for watching the video. <laughs> If you want to see what happened the rest of my day, make sure to go and subscribe to Traveling the Right Way. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see future videos from me. I'm going to be putting out a lot more writing vlogs, some fun announcements in terms of the new book that I will be publishing. Hopefully, fingers crossed, by next year. It's the second book in my trilogy, and I may or may not be telling you guys the title of it as well as the subtitle and explaining kind of what the premise is going to be because it takes place in Colorado Springs and that's why we're here. So if you stuck along this far, you know what to expect in future videos. So please subscribe, turn on your post notifications. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a like. If you didn't like it so much, give it a dislike. Comment down below if you have read one of the books in today's video or if you think that I should read one of the books in today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ugh. Why am I so out of breath?